Would you guys got another video? If you don't like Windows 11 Notepad, then you can use this simple trick I'm going to show you. So when you open up Notepad, you'll see that we've got tabs and there's also the Copilot, which has been embedded inside Notepad. Now, granted, you can turn this off inside the settings panel, but that doesn't necessarily mean that Copilot has been completely disabled like I showed you yesterday. You can uninstall Copilot as you would any other program, but it still stays attached to Notepad and other programs like uh, Paint and things like that. So it means it's still on the system. So how can you go about removing Notepad uh, Windows 11 24 H2 version, which has Copilot in it, and basically going back to the classic version? So inside the settings panel in system, go to optional features right here and click on it. Inside here, what we're looking for is Notepad itself. Now, if you don't see it inside here, it should look something like this in this location right here, Notepad system, and you can see it's already been added. If it isn't added on your system, what you need to do is go into the added features up the top here and do a search for Notepad and then install it onto the system. So go ahead and do a search right here. I've already got it installed on my system, so I don't need to install it, but it's already here. Now we're not talking about, so what we're gonna be doing here is using the classic uh, notepad. We don't want the modern notepad with all of the bloat in it like Copilot. So make sure this is installed and added to the system. Once you've got this done, we're gonna go back here onto the system and inside here, what we're going to do is go to uh, the optional features here, and you can now see it has been added. If you haven't added it, it should be there like that. And it says this is the classic system notepad. That's important because you need that on the system for us to be able to use it. Once you've got that installed or it's on there, go to the app section right here on the left hand side. And what we're going to do is go to here where it says advanced apps settings. And inside here, we're going to come down to where it says App Execution Aliases. Click on this one right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come down to this Notepad option right here, notepad.exe. This is the new one with the Copilot and the tabs on it. So we're going to turn that off like so. Once that's turned off, we can now go and check. So if we click on here, it will still come up with the actual Copilot on it because that's what it just does. We need to uninstall that a little bit later on, but I'll show you that afterwards. So just turn it off for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down to Explorer here and we're going to navigate to the Windows directory. So go to Explorer. Inside here, go this PC, then go to your C drive, then go to the Windows directory right here. Once you click on the Windows directory, we're going to navigate down to the bottom here where it says Notepad. You'll see that Notepad here looks very different. This is the classic Notepad, as you can see. It's telling us there's a new version of Notepad available right here. We don't want that new version. We want to use the classic version that doesn't have any bloat on it. So this is the version we're going to be using on this system. So what we're going to do is going to basically create a shortcut for this particular version on our computer and use that as our option. So let's go ahead and what we're going to do here is close this off and we're going to basically create a shortcut for our desktop. So right click on here, now go to show more options and once we click on show more options there should be create a shortcut right here. So right here on this list, come down the list a little bit, create a shortcut and it says Windows can't create a shortcut here. Do you want to stick a shortcut on your desktop? We're going to say yes for that. And now we've got a shortcut for this particular classic notepad on our desktop. So we can now pull this down here. And there we have our shortcut, which is giving us access to our classic notepad. So what we want to do now is we want to put this into all the locations where the modern notepad is. So go down to your run box and right click on start button and click on run. Type shell colon and then common and then space start menu. So just type that out like so, and then click OK. And this will open up the Start Menu area right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our shortcut into the Program section right here. So what we need to do is we can either copy it or we could just drag it in. I'm going to just drag it in here to show you. Click Continue. 
And I can also copy this and put it back to the desktop here because I wanted to keep a copy of that on the desktop. So let me go ahead and do that right here. There we go. So now we've got a copy of that in our start menu and a copy of that on our desktop. So that's that taken care of. We can rename this a little bit later on. So now when we click on these, they are going to open up our classic notepad instead of our brand new notepad with all of the bloat inside of it. So when we click on this one here, this is the one which has got the bloat on it. So we definitely want to remove this because this is the one with all the bloat and the tabs and all of the copilot. So let's right click on it and we're going to uninstall this and click uninstall. That's now gone. But you might be saying, how can we add in our notepad right here? Well, all you need to do here is just right click on this right here and pin this uh, to your taskbar if you want to, like so. And you can pin that to your taskbar. And you can also pin this to your start menu. And I'll quickly show you how to do that as well. So we've got one on the desktop, one on the taskbar. And what we're going to do here is we're going to add this into our start menu. So let's go back to our start button here. We want to pin this right here. So all you need to do here is on the recommended section, uh, but we want to go to all and then go down to our notepad right here. And what we want to do is right click and pin this to start. So just like so. So when we open up now the start button right here, we should have our notepad right here. So it's all in the places that we need it to be. And we've just got rid of the notepad with the tabs and the copilot in it. And we're using the classic notepad just like a lot of people like to use. Now, obviously, if you like the new notepad, then by all means, leave this alone and don't use it. But I personally like uh, the classic one because it doesn't have all of the bloat in it. So now what we need to do here is right click on here. If you want to rename this and remove the shortcut, you can do. So just go ahead and do that right here. And you can even give it a capital if you want to be that fussy. And it's now done. And now we have shortcuts everywhere and we can use this instead of our modern notepad. Now, of course, you don't have to use this. There's other options available like Notepad++ if you want to use something like this. This is another preferred option for a lot of people that do coding and other types of stuff inside Notepad because it is more powerful than the Notepad that comes with Windows. So if you want to de-Microsoft yourself, you can basically uninstall the notepad that comes with Windows and use Notepad++ if that's what you want to do. I use Notepad quite a bit and I don't like the Copilot embedded into Notepad. I just found it a little bit intrusive and also it's now going to be installed just about on every program that is built into Windows. So I'll be looking for ways to remove all of those and use the classic particular types of apps because they work just as good as the modern ones. So let's go quickly and install notepad plus plus here just to show you right here it's safe to use it's been around for a very long time so let me quickly install it and show you what it looks like so you can actually see if you've never heard of notepad plus plus before which i'll be shocked if you have so let's go ahead and click finish and there we have notepad plus plus very very powerful altogether and again if you're coding it's got a nice number system down the side so you can sort of see what line you're coding on and it's a lot more easier to understand than just your generic generic sort of notepad from windows anyway i hope this video has been some sort of use to you my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk let me know in the comment section down below whether you like the new notepad with all the copilot and all the tabs in it or whether you would just like to remove it altogether and use the classic notepad just like i've shown you anyway that said I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support, whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three. I really do appreciate it. Have a lovely weekend and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll catch you on the Discord server. The link is in the video description. Bye for now.